So what's the deal, Karen? Is there a problem? Come on, look at this place. You don't see a problem? Take a breath, Chris. We're all on edge. I'll handle this. You better. Dr. Vince Stein. What are you doing? Dr. Vince hey, someone has got to wake him up. Getting Alan mad is not going to do it. You got any better ideas, Karen? See, we're not fooling around, Karen. We're out of here today. Okay, everybody in the on-call room now. What was Serena thinking, skipping um, school? Well, she wasn't thinking. Yeah, well, I mean, getting on a bus by herself. You know how many kids disappear? Is she completely lost her mind? Is she nuts? No, impulsive is what comes to my mind, and I wonder where she gets that from. Come on, it was about Neil. She just really needed, wanted to see Neil. Yes, okay, but it scares me. What if she thinks that she can do this all the time? If we don't say something to her here, I, huh? I, I have, and just thank goodness that Katie found her. Yeah, well, Katie, you know, ever since Serena was in the hospital, they, you know, they're pretty good friends. Right, well, it also happens that Katie has two kids. You know, she's good with kids. What scares me is the fact that a lot of these nurses have kids, and now they're trying to deal with not getting a paycheck. I know. This whole thing stinks. Listen, I gotta go see Alan. Okay. Are you going home? I uh, no. No, nope. Actually, today's a really big day for me. Um, the sweet luxury and all is almost ready, and um, I have a big special surprise for Ms. Stewart coming up. What is this, a peep show? I should start charging admission. You need to be in on this, too. What? Your colleagues here have decided to take a stand to end the strike. Eve knows I filled her in. Mm. And you're for it? Absolutely. Have you guys really thought this through? This place shouldn't be open for one more day. A handful of residents walking out isn't enough to shut it down. Karen, we've got the word to some of the others. There are interns and orderlies ready to fall in with us. Big step, especially from someone that's walking on thin ice as it is. Well, then it can't get any worse. If you want your job when this is all over, I suggest you stay out of it. Okay, Karen, thank you for the advice. She's right. got a point. Look, Josh. Matt, I'm... you know what? We'll let you know if we need you. So if you're all set, why are you still here? The others won't walk without your approval. They need you to back us. Look, we know that we're putting you in a tough spot, but this can't happen without you. We're asking you to be a doctor first, management second. I'm in. Yes. Thanks. <clears throat> there could be major fallout for all of us. I hope you're willing to live with the consequences. Ronnie Price and his cameraman I just saw leaving? On his way to give his little scoop to the 6 o'clock news. I cannot believe that little twerp finally got past security. I invited him. Of course, the lighting in here wouldn't flatter Naomi Campbell, but at least the little twerp made the time go faster in this godforsaken pit. Oh, incredible. What? How much I hate this place. Oh, please tell me you didn't tell them that. What? No, no, I was a good girl. Oh, good. That's it. Of course, you've told them about our whole idea with the baby line products, right? Mm hmm ah. Until I have those samples, though, we don't have an agreement. Well, today's your lucky day, because guess what? You will be getting those samples very, very soon. Oh, well, that's wonderful news. Yes, and it gets even better. Your luxury suite is ready. You can check in within hours. Joy. In the meantime, be a peach and get me a non-fat half-calf cap, please. Sure. <laughs> Alan, we need a word with you. Well, I'll give you a minute. No, stay. This concerns you, too. Now's not a good time. Later is going to be too late. What's going on? To put it bluntly, the hospital's falling apart. We should not be treating people. You're exaggerating. There have been too many near misses because of careless mistakes. I almost lost a patient to sepsis because of a lab screw-up. I heard about Camille Owens. You made a hell of a save. We're not after compliments. We want to know what you're going to do. Look, we're all running on fumes. You need to hang on a little bit longer. We're putting patients' lives at risk. Is it going to take somebody dying for the strike to end? We are working day and night to try and find a resolution. Well, it's not good enough. Karen, I'm open to suggestions. Look, 
It's hard enough people die when we're doing our best. It's the nature of the work. But to lose patience because there's not enough staff to go around? If this strike doesn't end today, the residents along with the interns and the orderlies are walking out. 6th floor, please hold. 6th floor, please hold. 6th floor, can That's I help Jack you? Jack Carter's file. I just had it in my hand. No, please. I'm sorry. He's still in surgery. I don't know, but if you'd like to leave a message... Hello? Hey, hey, hey. Hello? 6th floor, please hold. 6th oh, floor, can I help you? Hey, what's up? What are you doing here? Looking for you? Yeah? Yeah, you know I'm leaving tomorrow. Yeah, I heard. It's very exciting, huh? You have my new phone number and I address? Got I got it right here. That's right in my brain. Maybe you could drive me home tomorrow. Well, I wish I could, but I think they need me around here. What's the matter? Why are you depressed? You look depressed. Aren't you ha happy to get out of here? Yeah. Just I won't be seeing you anymore. What? Won't be seeing me anymore? You just try to get rid of me. You can't get rid of me. I promise. I promise. We pulled that off for what? You were right in there. <laughs> well, they'd be crazy not to take us seriously. Hey. So, how did they take it? Uh, well, it's, uh, I think they heard us, you know? I mean, either they get the nurses back or we're out of here. Word's out that someone's checking out of this place. We're gonna miss you around here. I already talked to Kevin. Hmm. Really gonna miss hanging out with him. Oh, I have a feeling you haven't seen the last of him. <laughs> cool. You guys are the best. Yeah, well, you work so hard. I mean, if I ever knew someone who's sick, hmm. I'd tell him to come here. <laughs> Hey, thanks a lot, Mel. That's a cool thing to say. Well, you did all the hard work. We just helped. I guess I should be getting back to bed. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Doctor's, doctor's orders. Doctor's orders. That's, that's right. right. Doctor's <laughs> orders. You go. Hey. Well, that'll make you stop and think, huh? Hey, that's my... Dr. Harmon? Yes. Oh, thank you. Excuse me. Five, seven, three, four. Oh, well, we haven't walked out yet. Five, seven, three, four. First the nurses, now the residents. If the interns and the orderlies walk, you can forget about it. We're going to have to shut down. That is not going to happen. You have to do something. I think we're about to break the stalemate. How? The nurses will have us right where they want us. Not if we settle first. You're going to give in to their demands after all the work we've done? We're going to find a middle ground here. You know, you got to let me do it my way. OK. What can I do to help you? Call off Cassidyne and his bean counters, all right? I can't work with my hands tied. He's out of the country. Uh, yeah, well, I'd like to be on a vacation, too, down in Florida eating stone crabs. All right. I will give you all the room you need to work with, but you've got to end the strike. All I'm saying is, what if after the strike is over, you get fired for siding with the nurses? I'll find a job at another hospital. You mean another hospital not in Port Charles? No. Somewhere away from Christina. Julie, I didn't say that. You get labeled as a troublemaker, lose your job, and my career goes down the drain, too. And then what chance do I have of getting Christina back? A patient of mine almost died today because of the strike. Now, if there are ramifications to my actions, then so be it. But we can deal with them together. Oh, Julie, they need you at the desk. <clears throat> And Boardwin needs an assist in the OR. I do it myself, but I've got to cover ICU. Uh, I'll take care of it. Oh, hey. I haven't had a chance to thank you yet. For what? For spearheading the decision to end the strike. Does this mean you forgive me for the whole Cooper thing? Don't push it. But maybe you're just not the selfish jerk I made you out to be. The deal's on the table here. You have till the end of the day. I take it or leave it. It's a start. Yeah, the offer doesn't include some important points. For instance, we compromise, gave... counselor. Look, before you turn your noses up, run it past the other nurses. I'm telling you, it's a fair deal. We'll see if they agree. Hey, Don, it's me. Is everything set? Ooh, perfect. Okay, thanks, Todd. Hey, Karen, Hi. you didn't happen to see a package arrive for me around here, huh? No, not that I know of. I'm dread at all. You know, I'm really expecting something very special surprise for Donatella. I really want to give it to her. Okay, we will do. Great. Hey, hey. Are you okay? 
a diet of caffeine, sugar, and, and no sleep. It's hell on your nervous system. Oh, yeah, truly. Listen, you know, if the rumors are true, though, maybe you won't have that problem much longer. You mean the residents leading a walkout? Yeah, well, you know, we're leaving it up to the powers that be till the end of the shift to settle. Unfortunately, Scott is smack in the middle of it. Yeah, you do realize, of course, that Scott really wants this strike to be over. Yeah, and I just made his job a whole lot harder. You know, the nurses, they've said this from the beginning. It's about the patients and getting the proper care. It is. Okay, well, you probably know that we almost lost a patient today, and we've had a lot of close calls. Yeah, we may have heard something about that. <sighs> yeah, well... It's the strike that did it, okay? Now, forget about winning or losing, and remember why you became nurses in the first place, especially you, Denise. Hey, you okay? That was pretty powerful stuff there, you know. Uh, well, if they don't accept this deal, half the staff walks out, they might as well shut the hospital down. Whoa, 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 what do you mean? Once they sign the agreement, they go back to work, right? Cassidy takes a look at the profit margin, he might not think it's even worth opening General Hospital again. Come on, let's go. Hmm. So, we'll know more about the biopsy when we get the results. Okay. Yeah. So, what's with all the doom and gloom here? Scott made an offer to the nurses. Well, that's a good thing. Mm. No, no, he said that if the nurses rejected and we walk, GH could close permanently. ER. Yep. That's me, too. Come on. Let's go. Go, go, go. We've got bruising and abrasions to the anterior portions of his chest. Let's get a chest x-ray. Titrate morphine IV push to effect. Got a broken femur, possible arterial bleed. Give me more sponges. Okay, we need to hyperventilate him. Let's start saving love. You'll need major pain meds when he wakes up. All right, folks, what do we got? Construction site accident for traumatic injuries. Victim has massive head and neck trauma, possible skull fracture. He's tubed and ready to go to CAT scan. Okay, what are we waiting for? Let's get him over to CT. Hey, people, Good. we're all we've got. Let's work together. <laughs> See you. We got a possible vertebral fracture, fetal portable L spine. Come on it. Okay, let's keep him on the backboard until we get the films back. Hey, Hector. I still need to vote on it. It'd be official. It's a fair deal. We're gonna recommend they go for it, so we need to get back to work. Well, Frank, it looks like you're out of work. I wouldn't worry too much, though. I spoke to your boss. He got your job back as the paramedic. You're not off the hook yet, Frank. All right, let's start the steroids. Uh, call Tony Jones for a consult. Frank. Sorry to put you in such a tough position. Come on, come on, come on. Never apologize for taking a stand. I learned it from you. You did this. We did this. Okay, what's the film look like? Al's spine looks clear. Let's get him off the board. Ah, oh, well, here we go. Ta-da! The luxury suite for you, Miss Stewart, at your service. Not bad, considering I've been in hell. Anything would be an improvement. Oh, well, you know what? I'll take that as a little compliment there. Thank you. <laughs> you would. You with your perfect child and her perfect little daisies in her hair. You know what it's time for? It's time for, voila, the samples. Look right here what I have. I know when you see them, you're going to realize we have quite a little gold mine here. Please, try the skin care cream. <sighs> Whoa. Well, ladies, I have some news that I think you're going to want to hear. The strike is officially over. Oh, oh, that is so great. Scott did it. He did it. He did it. He came through. Hallelujah. Yes, and now that this weight has been lifted off my shoulder, I've been able to consider your request for a transfer. I have personally arranged for a medevac to take you to New York City. Oh, I'll be on the helipad in 20 minutes. It'll be here in 10. Don't be late. Well, 
Well, uh, now I can tell you what I really think of this room. The curtains clash with the bedspread. The furniture looks like it belongs in a barn, and that gilded mirror is an eyesore. It happens to be a very expensive antique. What period? Early bordello? You give new meaning to the word trash. And you give new meaning to the word cruel after everything I've tried to do for you well, here. I'm so sorry if honesty hurts. Oh, and, and this, this product, well, DS Enterprise thanks you so much for your contribution, but we don't need you anymore. You can look for my fine line of baby products on the shelves this summer. Are you saying you're stealing my formula? Noblesse oblige. Oh, this cream is really very nice. It's sort of making my skin tingle. Well, you know, now that you say that, you do positively look like you're glowing. Would you like to see? Oh! Oh, my God! Oh! Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 Listen, you don't want to try and rub it off. You know, the more you rub, the longer it lasts. I'd stop if I were you. This way, it's going to be off, oh, two, three weeks tops. Oh, you witch! Well, isn't that the cauldron calling the kettle black? Do you know you are the most mean calculating, cold-hearted woman I have ever had the displeasure of meeting. You know what you do? You try and make people feel bad about themselves, and you make people want to be like you, but guess what? I think you'd be very lucky to be anything like me. I'm never going to forget this. Oh, believe you me, neither will I. Oh. Orderly! Orderly! Get me out of here! Oh. Hurry up! Oh, God! Good luck. Oh, <laughs> Woo! Hey. So, did she manage to wrangle the formula out of you? No, but I did manage to leave her something to remember me by. Come here, you. Hey, I got a little uh, news flash hmm. for you. Strike's over. I know, Alan told me. I am so proud of you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Say, you know, this room reminds me of what mm. we spent in the night in Miami Beach. Except that one had a vibrating bed. Remember we had to keep putting those quarters in there? We ran out of quarters. Guess mm -hmm. what? Mm -hmm. We don't need any quarters much. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Mm, I like it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How have you been surviving this day in the house? Oh, well, you turned off the vibrating and... She's the TV. No, 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 really. Oh, who cares about this business? Come here. You wouldn't even know there was a strike going on. Yeah, but there must be some glitches, a mistake here or there, a screw-up, maybe. Absolutely not. It's efficient. It's organized. You push a button, poof, you have whatever you want. Do you know something? The real reason that I've been so comfortable here is the personal assistant that was assigned to me. My God, her name is Lucy Coe, a simple... You know, I did manage somehow to get the last laugh. I have this feeling that Donatella was so sickened by her awful behavior, she sadly turned a putrid green. I got a feeling I missed a great show. You want a show? Yeah. I'll give you a great show. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Quartermain, this came for you. Oh, thanks, Julie. Go home, get some sleep. You earned it. I'm okay. Actually, with the strike over, maybe we could discuss. Julie, let the dust settle. Dr. Quartermain, now that things will be getting back to normal, when do you think we can reschedule our review? I will look into it. All right, somebody get me a suture kit. Thanks, Audrey. Well. So admit it, this whole story was a ploy to make me miss you, right? Maybe it worked. Yeah. You're in good hands, sir. Dr. Lambert and Dr. Wexler are two of our finest. It's good to have you back here. Good to be here. Okay, let's move him. Okay. Well, fine, but what about Mrs. Rodriguez? I mean, she's really come to rely on our daily staff. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find someone to replace I think every single chart is misfiled. And they thought they were doing fine without us. How they expect us to take care of the patients and clean up the mess they made. Really, maybe that I don't should... even think about it. All right, it. fine. I'll just retire to my rocking chair. Maybe I can do some whittling. Look, you want something to do? We've got mail. 
at home that needs to be done. How about paying the bills? Victor took care of all of that. I know. That light bulb in the upstairs hall needs to be changed. I couldn't do it because I'm not tall enough. <laughs> and after the excitement of that wears off? We'll miss you, darling. If anyone needs... We know where you live. Bye-bye. Nurse Hartman, 4737. Nurse Donna Hartman, 4737. Oh, your phone! Kevin! Oh, Eve, has Kevin left yet? Uh, just now. Why? Oh, no. Oh, shoot. I, I really need to talk to him right now. I mean, it's important. Congratulations, son. You not only settled the strike, but the board is happy. The nurses are happy. You mean no one got you out in all this time? Hello, Denise. Welcome back. None too soon by the look of things. I see what would I have telling you? Happy. I can see that. Listen, you did a great job. In fact, the board was so impressed they're going to make you an offer. Kind of an offer. Well, you know, recently they have lost two of their members. Right. Uh, George Bradley stepping down, right? Yeah, and Pat O'Connell. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to want you to take one of those seats. <laughs> why would they want me? Well, why not you? Oh, you got to be kidding me. I don't belong with those people. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yeah. Well, they're like uh, country club people, you know? Uh, Amanda Barrington, Edward Quartermain, that's not... Come on, come on. You, you are just what they need right now. It's time for the, the new guard to move in and kick up a little dust around okay, here. If they want to sweep the dust on the carpet, they, they don't want people coming in there and, and changing the rules. And you know I work that way. I can't stick Listen, to anything. I can, I can see you right now changing some of the rules that aren't relevant anymore. Yeah, I'm sure that'll go over big with the board. Well, just think about it, will you? Think about this hospital and think about the differences you can make. You're looking lovely, as always. I remembered you'd liked red. Too bad you didn't remember that other little problem we discussed. The strike ended. You assured me GH would be in shambles. That when I came in with my offer, Stefan Cassadine would be begging me to take it off his hands. I know what I said. But you never took care of the Baldwin problem. No one was more surprised than I was that Scott was able to settle the strike. If you really want that chief of staff job... Everything I promised is going to happen, and then some. So, um, I, I know we need to fix it up, but it, it's going to be great. It's going to be really, really great. So, what do you think, huh? Nice. See, I told you you like it. I, I, I can't tell you how happy I am to have you home. Yeah, and, and that goes for me, too. <laughs> this, this is going to be great. We can, we can be a real family now. Does this mean you guys are going to get married? Oh. <laughs> uh, um, I mean, isn't that what a real family does? Yeah, it is, but... Um, Neil, I love your mom. But we've got to take this whole thing one step at a time. So we'll start by all living here together and see how it goes, okay? Okay. Can I see my room? Yeah, check it out. It's right through there, first door. Great. <laughs> so here we are, all together in our own place. Yeah, it's been a long time in coming, hasn't it? Too long. Mm-hmm. I think you'll like his room, all the, the Star Wars oh, stuff I've Frank, got. relax. Relax, I love it, okay? You think so? Yeah. Or, um, why don't you ask him, okay? Well, what's the verdict? You like the room? It's okay. Well, like your mom said, we're not finished yet. I still have to paint. I, w I was thinking maybe Yankee colors. Sure. Whatever. Can I call Joe? I want him to see the new place. Sure. The phone's right there. Uh, what's up? I have some bad news. Since the strike ended, Ellen wants you gone till your peer review. What? That's beautiful. I pitch in when they need me, and then as soon as they don't, adios. Joe. Peer review hasn't even been scheduled, Karen. 
I know you're upset, but you still have to answer for doing Neil's BMT. Why are you throwing this in my face now? Huh? Tell me that. You know this wasn't my call, and you know that. We all appreciate your helping around here, but you're just making things worse for yourself and for everybody else by refusing to go. Joe, phone. I'm busy right now. It's Neil asking if you can come over. Yeah. Just so happens I'm free. You know, you really would be very perfect for the job because you have a good head for business, doesn't he? And also, you happen to love J.H. very much. Yeah, well, so do you. That doesn't mean that I want to be locked up in a room with those mucky mucks for hours at a time, Lucy. Well, I would do it if I thought it would help the hospital. Not to mention the fact that, and you know this, I don't like wearing suits and ties. I know that, but you happen to look very handsome in your suits. And think about all the crazy things I've had to wear. I mean, at the nurse's ball to help the hospital and all the crazy things I didn't wear. I can't do it. <sighs> okay, stop this wing. Sorry, sweet pea, we gotta stop for a minute. I gotta talk seriously to your daddy just for a second. Come here, you. Listen, you don't have to be judged by the things you wear. Just because you wear a tie doesn't mean it changes what you are or what you believe in. You might be able to convince people better, you know? They might be more receptive to you. It might help you get your foot in the door. What am I, a fuller brush salesman? I don't want my foot in the door. Don't you realize that the best radicals change the establishment from the inside? Lucy, well, I don't want to change the establishment, you know? If there's rules, I just break them. Yeah, well, that's what I love about you. Besides, it doesn't mean that I just all of a sudden want to take up croquet. Okay, why are we discussing this with Daddy? You tell me, because he's already made up his mind, hasn't he? Maybe I have. Well, I'll see you later. I got work to do. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, promise me you will not make that final decision, okay, until we talk about it a little bit more, please? Lucy, come on. No, wait. Okay, I'll tell you what. We want to buy you dinner at Kelly's, you finish your work stuff, and we'll meet you there, my treat, okay? It is fish stick night, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna change my mind, though. No. All right. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye, Dad. <laughs> so, there are two vacant seats to fill. Actually, one. We've offered one to Scott. Scott? Really? You have a problem with that? No. No, no, no. Not at all. Good. So, that leaves... Uh... Just one more seat to fill up. Dr. Lambert, mm -hmm. call on line three. Oh, thank you. This is Dr. Lambert. Miss me yet? Where have you been? Uh, for a walk. I, I guess I lost track of time. Well, huh? you have to get back here right now. Why? There's an emergency. Eighth floor. Hurry! Oh, this is a new place, huh? Yeah, this is it. Very nice. Thank you. How's it going with Neil? Well, um, it's going to take him some time to get used to all this, but, uh, we're getting there, you know? Oh, boy. <laughs> you got more paint on you than you do the wall. Yeah, though. well, you think you can do better? Grab a brush. Joe! Hey! Hey, Jim! Hey, Jim. What's up? How's it feel to be a free man? Awesome. <laughs> Want to see my room? Love to. Lead the way. We'll be right back. Great. It's the happiest I've seen him since we walked in here. Yeah, well, you know how he feels about Joe. Hey, hey. He's going to feel the same way about you. In time. Mm -hmm. I know. Good. <laughs> so, how's it looking? Well, it, it, it's, it's, it's looking... It's looking great. It's... Except for this, ugh, tacky chair of yours. Hey, I love that chair. <laughs> it's disgusting. It has to go. Has oh, to that's go. a pretty cool room. Not bad. And once Frank works his magic with the paintbrush. What color should it be? I don't know. Maybe you should ask the painter. Hey, uh, hey, are you okay? It's probably just the paint fumes. Hey, maybe I could take him to the park for some fresh air. Can we, Mom? Sure, I guess so. Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, but you gotta, you gotta put a coat on, and uh, and and you make sure he doesn't overdo it, okay? Oh, it's a good thing you reminded me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's go, buddy, before your mom changes her mind. All right. Have fun. See you guys. Bye. Well, little son will do him good. Besides, we've got so much to do around here that 
Yeah, boy, you sure can say that again. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, 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 this is it. This, uh, is, wh this is exactly what? what I've been looking for. This is um, a aesthetic overview of our place. But that paint really doesn't go with the vision and um, <laughs> with this chair definitely doesn't. <laughs> you know, I have a vision of you picking up a roller. In a minute. Hey, come on. No. A minute's up. No. Let's go. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay, you're a slave driver. You know that, don't you? Huh? Yeah, huh? I can be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe I can come stay at your house sometime, Joe. I still have my key. Sure. We can watch old gigantic movies, huh? I love those. The way they're less moved, but the words never match. <laughs> that is funny, isn't it? I miss you, Joe. I miss you, too. I wish I could come live at your place. I know, I know. But you can't always be where you want, when you want, believe me. Besides, the apartment's very cool, especially your room. It's nice. Did you see that Star Wars bedspread? Yeah, where did you get that? Frank. I heard him telling my mom. Oh, well, that was very nice of him, huh? He owed us so last summer. <laughs> you know that. All right, listen, you got to give the guy some points for trying, okay? You hear me? All right. I hear congratulations are in order. Oh, uh, what's for? For being asked to join the board. Where'd you hear that? You might keep my ear to the ground. I bet you do. <laughs> well, I think they made a wonderful choice. Well, Lucy feels that way, so I guess I'm the odd guy out here. You're not really considering turning it down. Maybe. No, Scott, they need new blood. They need someone in there that can stir everything up. I'm flattered, but you see... No, I... no. Mm. But why don't you just tell me when your start date is? Dr. Carby, 410 East. Dr. Sherry Carby, 410 East. Well, it's kind of hard to miss the sign. <laughs> At the risk of sounding stupid. What have I found? Oh, you disappoint me, Holmes. Well, maybe if I had a clue. Come here. You want a clue? I will give you a great big fat one. How do you like your new office, Dr. Collins? Their master plan. Will you name me acting CEO of Chandler Enterprises? Worked. Not only do you have power of attorney, you are the acting CEO. Or did it? You were brilliant. I'd hold on celebrating if I were you. You're on the brink of disaster. Emmy nominated in All My Children, ABC Daytime. Get some fresh air, huh? What are you looking for? Nothing. You brought it. Well, yeah, you didn't think I'd leave that behind, did you? In fact, why don't why don't we find a place to hang it up right now? Sure. Hello. 
out over the door. Perfect. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I am not having a gym in my living room. No. Come on, Mom. No. Yeah, it's, it's our aesthetic overview. Mm, what I won't give up for you two, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, get the ball. Okay. The first, first shot, shot ever. <laughs> 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 Pretty hard for me to believe that I'm 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 really back. For a long time, I I didn't think this would ever happen again. Well, I never doubted it for a second. How did you know? Gail, I talked her into letting me surprise you. Well, you did, <laughs> big time. <laughs> well, I'm not finished either. There's more. There's lots more. Have you um noticed? how big and smooth the desk is. It's strong, too. Well, Dr. Lambert, you're not suggesting... Uh... A nooner? Yes, I am. Well, it's, it's way past noon. Oh, who's gonna... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 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 Hel Hello. Hello. Dr. Locke. Kevin, I, I was just walking by. I saw your name on the door, and, and I wanted to be the first one to welcome you back. <laughs> Too late. Well, then, at least I'd, I'd like to say I am looking forward to working with you. But I'll let, I'll let you get back to work. Or um, whatever it was you were doing. Is she for real? Hey, hey. Hey, forget about her, okay? You are here for good, and there is not a damn thing she can do about it. So, where were we? Uh, right, right about here. Okay. Mmm, that worked. Hey. What are you doing here? I have one thing to say, and then I'm out of here, Karen. What? I'm sorry for losing it earlier. I wasn't mad at you. It was the whole situation. I understand. Okay, well, I guess I'll be going. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I was just about to mail this. Oh. Go ahead, open it. Hey, my peer reviews are scheduled. I spoke to Alan. I pressed him to schedule a date. I'll make them see I did the right thing. I hope so. It's good to have you back, Hector. It's good to be back. Even though we didn't get that new toaster oven in the lounge. Come on, now. Let's not get greedy. Yeah, you're a pretty tough negotiator. I like the deal we got. I'm glad everybody's happy. Yeah, you're the man, Mr. B. <laughs> see? You are the man. I'm the man. Mm, I'm so I'm proud of you. Look what you did. You solved their problems, and you can solve a lot of other things here at the hospital. Come on, I have a gazillion ideas for you. Lucy. It'll be fun. Creative ideas, not boring ideas. Lucy. Challenging. You know how you love a good challenge. Lucy. What? I'm accepting the position. Oh, Scott. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so amazing. That's wonderful. Come on, let's go tell Alan right now. No, wait a second. Didn't somebody promise somebody a free fish stick dinner? Yes, I did free fish stick dinner. All right. We celebrate first. Let's go get Christina from Gale. We'll go to Serena, pick her up at school. I'll buy you all the fish sticks you want. Come on. Wait a second. Where the hell are my sunglasses at? Oh, no. I, I left them in the diaper bag. I'm sorry. Dr. Marauder, I see you. Dr. Randy Marauder. Yeah, that problem we discussed, it's working itself out. How? Oh. Scott is joining the board. So? So he's a hothead. Once he starts mixing it up with those blue bloods, things are going to start turning our way. Are you sure? Trust me. G.H. is going down, and I know just how to give it a big push. 